Hello, you're on Papa Spot. I'm George. Welcome to a new episode on this series on refactoring Terraform modules. And today, I will be showing you how to implement templating in Terraform for ECS container definitions. And so if this series and the content of this channel lines up with your interests, hit the subscribe button and join me in this journey of learning by doing. So, let's start coding. What I have loaded on my VS Code at the moment is my Terraform module for ECS. Currently, this module is passive in handling container definitions, which means it simply takes an input variable for the container definition and uses that to create the necessary ECS resources. So what I'm going to do is allow this module to create the container definition using template files, which I have talked about on this episode right here. The first thing I will do is ensure that I have the latest code on my machine. So I'm going to head to my VS Code terminal and run Git. And then back to my VS Code Explorer, in the root of my repository, I will create a new directory called templates. And then inside this new directory, I'm going to create a new file called containerdefinition.tpl. On this file, I will set up the bare minimum properties for a container definition. And now that I have a template file to work with, the next thing that I will do is head to my variables.tf. I will need to restructure my container definitions input variable. I will add an S to the container definition name to indicate that it's a list. And then I'll change the type of this variable to list. And I'm also going to update the description. I want this variable to accept a specific type and structure of the object. So I'm going to define that object inside the list. So what I did here is update my input variable to be of type list and of a type and structured object that contains properties that are aligned to what a container needs, such as name, image, CPU, and all the other properties that I've defined here. And to consume this new variable, I will head to my locals.tf. I will change the name of my local container definition parameter and add an S to indicate that it's a list. I will also change the value of this local parameter. To set the new value, I will loop through each element of the input variable container definitions. And then I will call the template file function in Terraform with reference to the new container definition template that I just created. If I quickly switch to my template, I will need to provide the values for all the variables that I've defined inside my template when I call the template file function. So now if I go back to my locals at TF, To set the log configuration variable, I can simply copy what I've already set up at the later part of this code. And because the variables inside my template file expects the value to be a string, I need to wrap this block with JSON encode. And because I'm now setting the log configuration as part of the whole interpolation, I can now get rid of the enhanced container definition local parameter. I have three properties here that are currently empty, the environment, secrets and port mappings. So let's set up the environment first. When I defined my new container definitions variable, I set the environment property to a map. So let's have a look at that. So the environment's property in here is set to a map of string. Now, if I go back to my locals at TF, the environment on my container definitions template file expects the value to be a string representation of a list. So I will need to translate the map into a list that contains name and value properties like this. And like what I did with log configuration, I need to wrap the value with a JSON encode to fetch the string representation of the list. I need to implement a similar setup with secrets property, but instead of setting value, I need to use value from. So it will look like this. And I also need to wrap this object with JSON encode to get the string representation. The port mappings property expects a list of object, but what I'm going to do is I can simply just inject the container port property inside the value. And I also need to wrap this with JSON. -N. Now, this is where the complexity begins, and I will try my best to explain what I'm doing. When template file function is called, the output is pure string, which means I now have a list of string assigned to the container definitions local parameter. I need to get a single string representation of this current list. So what I need to do is call another Terraform function called join and build one string that is comma separated. So it will look like this. 
I need my container definitions local parameter to be a string representation of a list. So I need to enclose the whole thing with brackets. And the way to achieve this is calling the format function like this. And now I have a container definitions local parameter that is purely a string. I also have a local parameter at the bottom of this list called first container. This references the value of the local containers to get the first container in the list. Instead of using the local parameter, I will replace the source here and use the main variable input instead. I also need to change the way main container port local parameter is set. Because I no longer have port mappings, I'm going to get rid of that and replace that with container underscore port. The next set of changes that I need to implement is on my main.tf. I need to change the container definitions property on my tasks definition. Currently, it's pulling the JSON encoded value of the local enhanced container definition. I need to set the source to the string value of my new local container definitions parameter. And now I'm going to switch to my VS Code terminal and commit my change. And then I'm going to create a new version tag. And now I'm going to switch to my browser and then access my GitHub account and then open the appropriate repository and then head to releases and then click on tags, click on the new tag that I just created and then all the way to the right of this page, click create release from tag. And then at the end of the page, click publish release. And now, I'm going to open my working with ECS repository project to start consuming the new version of my ECS Terraform module. And then from here, I'm going to head to the ECS directory and then open the Telegram configuration file. I'm going to update the source of my Terraform module to point to the new version that I just created. And then down to the inputs block, I will rename the container definition input variable and add the S in there. And I will restructure the value that's assigned to the container definitions. The first thing I will do is get rid of the JSON encode. And then I will remove the port mappings property and replace this with container port and set the value to 80. And then I will need to restructure both the environment and secrets property and change them to a map. And all that's left for me to do now is head to my VS Code terminal and prepare my session for Telegram run. And now I'm going to cd to ECS and run Telegram plan. My Telegram plan was successful. And if I head to my task definition resource on this output, the resource looks fine and the components of the container definition is set properly. So you have the environment, log configuration, as well as the secrets. And that's all I have for today. Stay tuned as I continue to explore ways of refactoring infrastructure code in Terraform. In the meantime, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and send me some likes if you find this useful. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like the content on this channel. Until next time, keep learning and stay safe. See ya.